Most of you that know me know that I have recently gone through a pretty dramatic weight loss. Weight loss does lead to hair loss. I have battled this several different times in my life. Most of the time when I'm trying to lose weight, um, sometimes when I've done, when I've had a lot of stress, when I lost my sister, I had about with my hair, half of my hair volume being gone and then I had a huge patch of alopecia where I, if you don't know what that is, it's where you just lose your hair in big round patches and your skin actually gets real smooth where it is. Thankfully, I wore my hair long enough that I could just, um, you know, comb it over and do okay. But what I wanted to show you today was a very quick, very easy way to disguise this whole receding hairline thing we got going on. And I know that so many of you have battled with this too. So I wanted to just really quickly get in here and show you guys, I'm trying to look in my little viewfinder and it's ridiculous. So I just wanted to really quickly go through this with you guys and show you how I disguise my high forehead and my hair that has been lost right in here and through here so that it's not so noticeable. So I'm just gonna zoom you in just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, and in zooming you in, I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth. It goes quite a ways back. I do wear my hair forward. Obviously, I don't wear a pin back like this because it would be a really hard thing. All I want you to do is just get a pointed brush. This is kind of fanned out a little bit. This is a Luxie brush that I have, but it does come to a point right here and then it has kind of tapered um, bristles on there. So hopefully that's easy to see for you guys. I guess I can put it up here so you can see it a little better. And then I'm going to be using my very favorite contour of all time and this is from Sephora and this is one of their colorful whatever. It's from their collection, Sephora collection and it's called um, Second Chance. And so all I'm gonna be doing is swirling my brush around in there. You can see that I love this because I've hit pan on it already. And I'm just gonna be swirling that brush in there. I'm getting a lot of product on there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow where that natural hairline would have normally gone. So I'm not gonna be bringing anything around here forward yet. So I'm gonna just go up in here and I'm gonna just kind of connect from here at the top down here to the temple. So that is really where I'm missing the most hair is that area right there. And brush it back into the hair. Powder's not gonna make your hair feel greasy during the day. It's not gonna do any of that. So you guys can see how immediately it just made that look really good and so much better as far as kind of looking like it's filled in. And that's really all we're doing. And I chose this color right here because my root color that's not bleached out is actually a very ashy blonde color, a dark ashy blonde. And so this works really good for my scalp and matching up my hair color that's underneath. So again, I'm just going over to this side and I'm just going right into there, into the area where it is so sparse and I'm just building it up. And I try to kind of push my brush a little bit underneath the hair so that it can kind of, you know, fill in there and be able to disguise it. And I use quite a bit of product, you guys. I'm not, I'm not kind of being stingy with the product. I'm using a lot of product because I really want that to be hidden. Okay, so now on the forehead, I do have a high forehead too because it's all receded because of all this hair loss. Plus you can see right here, this is where my normal forehead would start. That's a pretty high forehead. The rule of thumb is if you can put four fingers up there on your forehead, you need some contour. If you have three fingers, you need a tiny bit. If you have two, you don't need any contour, just so you guys know that. So I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go in there again. You know what brush works really good on this if you don't wanna spend a lot on a brush is the e.l.f. small stipple brush. I think it's like $4 or something. And so I'm gonna to continue to stay in this hairline up here and I'm just gonna kind of stipple across here a little bit and get that hairline to be really looking like there's a shadow up there so it doesn't look like it's so stark white. And so even though we're contouring, we're actually concealing our very high forehead or our receding hairline, whatever you wanna call it, in order to be able to kind of conceal that we don't have as much hair as we used to. So as I lay down that product and as I get enough product on there, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push my brush forward like this instead of pushing it back, because if I pushed it back, I might run the risk of getting too much down here and kind of looking blotchy. So I'm gonna push that brush forward from the hairline forward. 
and just keep blending until you feel like you've got a really, really good blend on that forehead. And you're gonna be just surprised at how well this does as far as really concealing all of that. Now, one of the things that you can do, sometimes it gets a little bit too muddy up there. Sometimes you want it to look a little bit different. I just take one of my really fluffy brushes and some bronzer. This one is from the Going Coconuts line. Talk to the palm from um, ColourPop. And I'm just going to actually stipple that in your hand like that. It takes an excess product off so you're not getting too much. And I'm just going to bronze up right there in between the forehead and the contour. So I'm just bronzing that up to bring a little bit of life out there so we don't look quite so gray as far as what we did at the contour. But you really do want that grayish color when you're doing the contour. If you find something that's too warm, you're going to end up having it look just like you've bronzed up there, not like your anything is shadowed or hidden. And that's really what we want. So I'm just taking this over that and I'm just giving it just a really good little buffing. And then I'm going to take that bobby pin out and I'm going to fix my hair so you guys can see. So I panned out just a little bit so you can see. I just fluffed this hair up here a little bit. I tuck one behind my ears. And you can see how well that does at kind of giving the illusion that I don't have that hairline as far back as I actually do because I do do a deep part on this side, but at the same time, I cover as much as I can on this side. So that's it, you guys. I hope that you did enjoy this quick tutorial on how to take care of balding spots or how to take care of a receding hairline and kind of play with light and shadow and contour and know how that you can bring that forehead down. So if you have a high forehead or if you have a receding hairline, kind of like what I've got going on right now, I hope this did help you and I hope that it will be helpful in the future. If you guys like seeing these little tips and tricks that I can bring you guys, please give this video a thumbs up. That would really help me out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already on your way out of here. Let me know you guys what you think of this, if you're gonna try it or if you've already already tried it and let me know what you think of being able to kind of conceal that or contour that, hide it, whatever you want to call it. I hope that you guys are having an absolutely wonderful day. Please take care of yourselves and I'll see you all in my very next video. Bye guys.